Hey guys, today I'll be doing an unboxing of the Intex Exclusion 5, the five person boat, and showing you all the features of it. I just got it, um, and I'll just show you everything um, that comes with it. So, yeah. Okay, so the first thing we're going to look at is the box. It comes with two oars, they're aluminum oars, 54 inches, um, high output pump, and a carrying bag in the boat itself. Um, it comes with um, three seats, two with backrest in the back and one in the middle that you can put your foot in. And the seats are detachable too. Comes with fishing rod holders. Um, there's the front of the box. Um, the maximum weight is um, 1,300 pounds. Five passengers can fit in here. 12 feet long, five feet and six feet wide. I mean, five feet, six inches wide. Um, yeah, um... The reviews on Amazon were pretty good. I don't know if the lighting's good back here, but yeah. Um. So let's get oh, let's get to opening the box. Okay, let's get to opening this. The box itself is about fifty pounds, so if you're not strong, then you're gonna need some help. I bought this for a hundred and twenty dollars, I believe. Yeah, but because I got a good deal on it, but it, and it's brand new too. Yeah, I can see the trashy setup. My tripod broke. All right, the first. Oh, hold on. Let me get this out the box. So it looks like the boat and everything comes in the bag already. This is the carrying bag, and let's see. Um, it's not that heavy or sounding for me because I was on my left hand, but. It's not that heavy, but the straps I would not trust, so I'm probably gonna get a better bag. But yeah, so let, let's let me open it. Okay, so first thing you see are the oars. Let's open these up. Yeah. Oars, I might get better ones, but they're aluminum, so. Probably not the best oars in the world, but I, they're gonna have to do for now. But yeah, they just snap together. But I'll show you guys the assembly later on. Okay, for, so for the second thing, it looks like this is a pump. I think you can buy electric pumps though. And th this can't, you couldn't mount the motor on here, so. Not on the pump, but you can buy electric pumps. Um, yeah, this is the pump. Uh, looks like a simple foot pump, real cheap. Uh, this screws under here, but I might get an electric one. I might put wood in, um, here, oh, I didn't show you guys. It's a little. Output pump. Alright. I put the boat to the side for right now, but um, these look to be like the fishing rod holders. Um, yeah, there's four of them. These, pro these are probably the fishing rod holders. Here's the, I, I believe this is for the um, sides of the boat so you can put the paddles in. But I don't know. This might be an anchor rope. Or to attach a dot, but I don't know. But we'll find out when we read the directions. Um, this looks like the pouch that you can, the side pouch maybe. Yeah, clips on with the um. Looks like here. Let me turn on the brightness. Oh, you guys still can't really see. It. Sorry about the light. My room's not the best. And there's one more string. The manual. It looks like there's some repair patches right here. Yeah, repair patches. So if you ever break down, then you can um repair, repair. Uh. All right, now we got the boat. Ugh. Probably not gonna be able to open this inside of the house, so I'm probably gonna see you guys outside. All right, so I got the um boat rolled out. Here's the pump. There's the seats that were inside of it. 
just to fill it up you go to one then two and then three and then you're set to go and then i'll show you guys what else you got to do for the seats and everything all right guys we got the thing pumped up it took about maybe 20 to 30 minutes but that's that was pretty good for this because guys now we're gonna pump up the seats and put them in i'm not gonna set up the oars right now but to set them up you put the blade then the pin then here just i'm gonna let you guys see that but i don't have my oars right now and i can't set them up because i'm not gonna be using them so i don't want to break them down but yeah 